We also spoke to geologists today to learn more about the science behind the magma that's in the East Rift Zone. They're seeing signs that the lava outbreaks are not stopping anytime soon, and there's also a possibility that it could become more dangerous. Sarah Madison joins us with more. Sarah? Kathy, slow-moving lava poured out of the latest fissure, but what was surprising to scientists were the big blasts that came with it. Scientists who flew over the site saw blobs of lava hurling several hundred feet into the air. Most impressive that was every once in a while there would just be this big blast, and you could hear the noise of that over the sound of the rotors in the helicopter, which I've never experienced. Oh, Nearby residents were also startled. I started hearing explosions, and it was the loudest sounding fissure that I've heard in this whole event. Scientists believe lava from the first few fissures has been stored in the rift zone for decades. But they're counting on seeing fresher magma erupt because lava has left Pu'u'o'o crater down into the east rift zone. That's the reason we're doing the chemical analyses because we want to know um, when we might be seeing some of the fresher, hotter magma that's coming down the rift zone. I mean, the concern is that it, would, it could produce higher fissures and more fluid lava flows, and more fluid lava flows have the, the potential to travel farther than these sticky flows that we've been seeing so far. We have bags packed just in case, so, you know, if something does, does change, we're out of here. As for the Hale Maumau crater, geologists say the lava lake has now dropped completely out of view making it harder to measure if it's below the water table. And rock falls into the vent continues. Should rocks fall into the conduit and form a plug, effectively, then the steam, the, the, the steam that's building can become pressurized. And then if it's pressurized enough to blast through that plug, that's, that's the concern that we're, we're considering. In, uh, in 1924, it, it took some days to weeks before the explosions took place. So it could be a while longer. Since Friday, the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park has been closed until further notice. We'll keep you updated on when the park will reopen. As for the fissures, it's impossible to know when or where they will erupt. But geologists say the earthquakes are showing the general location of the leading edge of the magma as it continues downrift. Kathy?